Hello and welcome to episode four of my group iron series named Sniffer. This week I'm actually going to start the video properly, so we're going to start with our new plan, which is to talk through what the rest of the group are doing, then talk through what I do, and then do it. So, first up we have, of our little Tinder profiles, we have Sniff Your Man, aka Ross. Ross is currently 64 combat, he's working towards Morning's End Part 2 for Death Thrones, he's uh, around 50-ish quests. I haven't actually got a full stat from him, even though I did ask the group, but not only something their current quest points. So I've just had to guess. So he's around 50, I'm going to say. And his current total level is 1,169. Nice. And you can see his kind of current stats that he's been working on underneath. Next up, we have Sniff Your Nan, aka Beatdown. <laughs> Beatdown is working on Slayer. I have nothing else to add here. He's, he's working on Slayer. He's currently probably a prox around 90 quests. I haven't seen him do that many this week, so I'm going to say around around 90-ish. He did finish Recipe for Disaster, though, so he has kind of, he's reached that point in the game. And he's now been gifted the gift of magic logs from me, which I will get into slightly in the video at some point, like, I'm not sure how far through, like maybe like 10 minutes or so-ish, where I finally get the 75 woodcutting and supply the group with magic logs. So he is now able to go off and do desert treasure if he so wishes. Last but not least, we have Sniff Your Pit, aka Scott. High scores broke when I was trying to get Scott's details. I There was a game update today. I don't think he has logged in yet today. So uh, yeah, I don't know why his combat is. It was three last time we did an update. I think he's probably around... I want to say around 30. I have seen him do quite a few quests in the last few days and I would imagine some of those are giving him combat XP. So I'm going to say probably around 30. Could be totally wrong, but that's that's my guess based on kind of what I've been seeing him do. He's finally escaped Winter Todd and is working on quests, as it says on, on the thing. And he has around 80 chests stacked up. So once he's kind of comfortable with his levels, he will open up all of those, those crates because he's got 80 of them stacked up. He's currently, according to this, he's still 308 total. I don't think that's true because I've definitely seen him do a few bits and pieces. And it also still doesn't say that he's been working on woodcutting, which he definitely has so i don't know what's going on with high scores today but that's as much of an update i can give you ahead of this video before everyone goes off and makes loads of amends and starts doing you know their stuff the start of this video kind of like is slightly backdated from today i did a stream and we collected all the all of the items i needed for novic novice quests so i completed that list in the previous video this next list is going to be all of the novice quests that i need to complete but i still had a little bit of time slash energy left over once i'd finished collecting the items so i did do a couple of quests that stream it starts with that then i did another stream where i was supposed to be streaming Baldur's gate 3 Baldur's gate 3 had a gigantic update so i couldn't play Baldur's gate and played runescape instead which meant i then did a few more quests <laughs> then i went and got 75 wood cutting and then now we're at today <laughs> So it has, again, jumped around a little bit, but I'm hoping it'll be a little bit smoother than last time where I jumped around and kind of changed up my entire strategy in the middle of a video. So yeah, we're going to go into the novice quests. We kind of start nice and early. It's just like lots of very easy quests, very low key, very chill. And also some embarrassingly bad combat as part of one of those. You'll see it in the video, but it's bad. It is embarrassing. It took a while. <laughs> also, just a quick reminder, that once we've done this, we will be working on the Easy Diaries. I realised that I kind of went quite heavy. I've, I kind of just finished editing episode three today. And I was like, I went really heavy on like these three strategies. But like, everyone might be sat there being like, yeah, but that's like, that's like three evenings. Like, what are you going to do after that? The answer is I don't really know. But <laughs> I think diaries are probably going to be really useful early in the series, early in the account. I think by starting and smashing through some early diaries, it will be massively beneficial to me long term. So I think once I've done the easy diaries, I'll start looking at medium diaries. And that kind of pushes me to do other stuff as well, because obviously some stuff you have to do quests for, some stuff you have to get levels for, or even items that might be a bit difficult to get on an iron just in case you kind of watched the vid last video and you were like right great that's like three easy things like what are you doing next the next i think will probably be medium diaries so when the time comes i'll show you my little medium diary list i'll do the same thing that i've done previously and in this episode where you've got the kind of novice list and the next episode which will be the easy diaries but just to give you kind of like a heads up on what i'm thinking 
past those lists, I'm thinking more diaries, which you might find a bit boring, but I do think that is a really good way. If if I'm not working to a guide, I do think that working towards a goal and having like, right, this is what I'm working on and an achievable goal, like not just sitting here and going, right, I'm going to get 599s. I don't think that's beneficial. I'll, I, I'll just get burnt out. I'll get bored. But by having like, right, we're going to do medium diaries that I'll push us through X, Y, Z level. Then the like smaller levels that I put on my little list are what keep me interested but stop me from burning out if that makes sense anyway enough chitter chatter this has been seven minutes of me literally talking about nothing and not gameplay so let's go <laughs> let's do sheep shearer i haven't done that one yet right we need to take 20 balls of wool okay you can have 20 balls of wool and in exchange i would like some i don't know nice xp will do that'll do thank you mythalin mystery can i do that one yet what do we need for this one no items no enemies to defeat just rewards. That's my kind of quest. Spacebar simulator. I actually have no idea whether people actually want me to do the quest properly. I mean, I like early game quests like this, I can't imagine you actually care about it. But, oh, no, get the boot. Can't imagine you actually care about that. The story of the quest. Rip dead. Goodbye, Sid. <gasps> Whoa, not cool, bro. I'm feeling woozy. Gah, I see the light. Ugh, it's not my time, Glur. Goggle, ugh. Glur, help me. Ugh, hurgle. Come on, Sid, carry up. Flug. What am I supposed to do here, quest helper? I didn't read it. Say nothing. Good luck. <laughs> Death. Goodbye, Lacey. D. <gasps> Dead. Wow, this quest is so good. Don't die, Mandy. Give me your bandos good sword, Mandy. Hear at first these words. Each murder you witness helplessly from start to end. As you fail to solve the final letters of this quiz, razor sharp but like a gemstone is the blade of my knife. The last sound you hear will be your screams echo. <gasps> Heed that I will have the final words in this thriller and just an excessive amount of spare paper. I didn't read that very effectively, I'm sorry. I don't think it had the right sort of level of, you know, fear. <gasps> Mandy's coming, she's bringing the god sword. Let's go. Yay. R.I.P. What a riveting quest. <laughs> to be fair, it is actually quite, like, quite a... As, as quests in this game go, it's a, it's a funnish one. Sorry, it really makes me laugh every time somebody is like, oh, hi, sniff your cat. <laughs> uh, good memes. Right, there we go. We've completed another quest. And our crafting level is now seven. Lovely. We could do priest in peril. I'm, I'm prepared for that because I've got essence and a bucket. So we could do priest in peril. Oh, my king, give me a quest. I'm looking for a quest. Thank you. What did it say about being 15? I kind of ignored it. <laughs> oh, well. It's fine. Next we go to the temple. Ranged on melee plus... Oh, shit. We, we, need, we need weaponry for this part. Oh, I think he was saying about 15 combat, perhaps? I'm 12. My god, my bank is an absolute shit show. Ranged or melee we we weapon and armor. <laughs> hmm. Do I have any range levels? No. Gated by the fact that my combat is extremely low. Most of it... I mean, I haven't tried, to be fair. But Well, I guess we do... Win uh, water strike because that is the only thing I have the runes for. Can't mage it, can you? Wait, you can't mage the dog. I think the monk you can mage, but I think the dog you can't. I have a feeling. The king sent me to make sure everything is okay with you. What would you do if everything wasn't okay with me? I'm not sure. Ask you what help you needed, I suppose. Oh no, we have to go and kill the dog. Oh no. At least we'll be able to go into Mauritania because I've been <laughs> very lazy on that front. Are you sure you enter one to enter the mausoleum? Any items left inside, including death, will be... I don't want to lose my graceful. <laughs> we go back to the bunk. I'm putting my graceful away. It's not worth losing. It does say you can range it, though. Kill the temple guardian. It is immune to magic, so you will need to use either range or melee. I'm a bit worried I'm not going to do enough damage. Because <laughs> I have one range. The big bronze arrow gamer, I know. How many do you reckon we'll need? Is 1,420 enough arrows to kill a level 30? Who knows? It's a good job I didn't go and try and kill the level 30 with one range. <laughs> oh, yes. We've done three damage so far. Big excite. Yes. We got range level two. Yes. We're range level four now and we're killing things so fast. Uh, maybe I will go back to Lumbridge though. I need something that's a bit of a faster target, you know? I can't believe I'm back in Lumbridge killing things. I feel like I've just done this. Do you think 20 range will be enough of a level to kill the a level 30? I mean, it does say you need at least combat level 15. And it says I need 10 combat, uh, 10 range levels. 
I feel like I can never escape Lumbridge. I will never be free. Yay, we've got a 20 range. Oh, I have to have a defense level of 20 as well to wear the, the top. Okay, well, we can wear the trousers and look very fashionable and spiky, at least. And then let's go... <laughs> Let's go kill this, this dumb dog. Can I kill that dog? Here's the main question. I scared. If I stand in the corners, then he should leave me alone. This should be fine. Okay, so the person came to this corner in the video and waited until it stood like there. <laughs> oh, I hit, I hit, yes. Okay, we've got six health left. I think we're fine. We're through this quest. Easy peasy. I don't know what I was worried about. That was fine. That was so fine. We can now help the priest that is in peril. Attack! Kill a monk. Oh, look at me. I even, I've even safe spotted it. Hooray! We killed it! That took a, a ridiculous length of time. Hello, Drizzle. Would you like freedom? I need to do the new the new quest as well at some point. I haven't done it. Look down the well and see filthy, polluted water. P oh no, filthy. Why do I think that would become a P? Filthy, polluted water of the river salve moving slowly along. Nice. Now what? Sarah Damon is the spark that lights the fire in our hearts. Cute. Sarah Damon is the delicate touch that brushes us with love. Oh, there we go. Sarah Damon is the key. So um, life's mysteries. Did I need a bucket of, of something? Use the bucket on the well in the central room. I haven't brought a bucket. Was I supposed to pick up a bucket at some point? I don't have one. Oh, I guess we waddle back to the bank. No bank, no, no bucket. Pour the blessed water over the coffin, yes. Well, blessed. Excellent word of work adventurer. I am free at last. Let me ensure that the evil vampire is trapped for good. I will then meet you in the mausoleum. Ah, sniff your cat. Glad you made it. The things are worse than I feared down here. I'm not sure I'll be able to repair the damage. Have some have some weird circular rocks, my friend, and everything will be fine. Have some essence, Drezzle. <gasps> Yay! We've done Priest in Peril, the first of our novice quest lists that we wanted to work through. We now have access to Mauritania and some prayer XPs. We got 16 prayer. I think I was at 11 before, so I got five levels from that, which is pretty tasty. We have a wolf bane now. So we have a... This is like one of my only <laughs> equipable... Melee weapons. <laughs> GG. Right, next on my quest list, I guess. Which is potion? What's well, another one that's like nearish here? Huge. I could do druidic ritual. I've got all of the, the meats. And that's not too far away from this. I thought druidic ritual was not here. Okay, let's me get my games necklace. <laughs> is there another one I can do in this area? Talk to Queer Max. Queer Max! Queen Max, Quake Max, whatever your name is. <laughs> I just completely said his name wrong. I am in search of a quest and I would like to be able to do some herb law. I mean, like is a strong word, but I desire to not have to waste all the herbs in my bank. Ah! Yeah. How do I get in there? I'm not paying attention. Use the four meats and the cauldron in the center of the room. Spam click the gate to get in. Oh. Hang on, let me just let my health recover. <laughs> Dead Druid Rouge Ritual will be a first, imagine. Imagine if this is how I, imagine if this is how I lost my Marco Iron status. <laughs> Phew, I'm through. I'm free. Bring the enchanted meats to the seven feet upstairs in, ter in the herb tamale thingy. Ah, run away, run away, run away. I have been very helpful in assisting him with her law shit and I would like to enact her blow shit. Thank you very much. There we go. Her blow, level three. Lovely. Let's go and clean some herbs. Actually, let's do another quest first. We can go back to Varrock and do Gertrude's cat and Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet, what do we need for this? We needed to get the cadaver berries, which I have now got. We also needed to get Gertrude's cat. There was some like fish or something. Seasoned sardine. And I think a bucket of milk. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Please, can I give, deliver messages and things for you, oh, Romeo? There we go. There's the quest. And then they die, and um, she run he runs off with her cousin, I think. <laughs> she's got no face. I've just realised. She's completely faceless. She's got a nose. 
It's a shame about Juliet, but perhaps we can meet up later. Honestly. Disgusting behaviour. <laughs> nice, we've completed Romeo and Juliet. That was a lovely, lovely easy quest. Right, next is Gertrude's cat. Use the bucket of milk on Chick Gertrude's cat upstairs in the lumber yard northeast of Varrock. Now are you ready to go home? Thus came back. I heard she was ju um, just as upset I she couldn't find her kitten. Very cute. I would like a kitten. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Oh, that's a rubbish one. <laughs> I don't want that one. We also got some stew, a chocolate cake. I don't want this kitten. <laughs> also just got 28 cooking though. Which is OP kitten, do you think? Garfield best in slot. I suppose once they become hell kittens, it doesn't really matter. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh, you rubbish cat. It's right there. <laughs> That one is destined to become plus 200 death runes. I have never done that. I have never traded in a, in a cat for death runes in this game, ever. I don't like trading in the cats. It feels sad. The poor little kitty cats, they didn't, they didn't do anything to deserve it. I think dwarf cannon, we, we're at the point where we need to go to the other side of the iron ice mountains. This one, children of the sun. Is that the new quest? Okay, I'll do that one. Wait, I didn't even get any XP for that. Well. That was a easy quest. Definitely didn't need a quest guide for that. Lovely. Uh, Demon Slayer. I could probably do Demon Slayer now, actually. Delroth, Delroth is level 27. I killed something that was level 30 earlier. I think I should be fine. Do you reckon we can kill Delroth? 25 unnoted bones. Bonios. Is that 25? There we go. That is 25. I think maybe I have a small chance. Thank you for your belief in me. I appreciate it. He dies to my nan's sneeze. She does have feral sneezes to be fair so that doesn't surprise me as much as i hate doing them quests are very useful to be fair the stuff you get out of doing them yeah exactly the rewards they do make it worth as much as i hate it <laughs> they are they are long-term worth how are we doing with getting the keys i've got all three excellent now i can give you silver light hooray give me a big short thank you oh yeah a very shiny sword do I need to take anything out? Oh yeah, I actually need to wield this, don't I, to kill this thing. Do I have to, I, th I don't think I have to kill the magicians with this though. Okay, let's go. <laughs> with our extremely poor stats. I hope I don't die. I hope I don't die doing this and lose my graceful. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> lost hardcore status. Lost graceful. Three monks and he's dead. I hope so, but I do have seven attack, one strength and three defense, so. There's potentially a problem there. Arise, Delrith. The wizard casts an evil spell. <laughs> no, not Silverlight. Delrith is not ready yet. I've got to get out of here. Okay, goodbye. Four bonks and he's dead. Five bonks and he's dead. Twelve bonks and he's dead. This isn't looking good at all, is it? Gun him down. I wish I could. I wish I could. <laughs> this is slow as heck. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got many bonks. I've done zero bonks. <laughs> Seven bonks and he's dead, hopefully. If I manifest it, it might happen. <laughs> this is tragic. This is not just unfortunate, this is tragic. <gasps> yes, we got a two. We got a two, guys. Oh, oh my god, sorry. <laughs> Oh damn, we got to 1 HP. <laughs> Sorry about the noise. Yeah, I appreciate that. that was probably horrible to listen to. Probably horrible in your ears. <gasps> yes, we hit another two! Literally an entire infinite of food, but we might, we might, we might win. We might win. We're gonna do it. He's got 1 HP! Yes, we did it! <laughs> Woo! What was that incantation again? Gabindo, Camarinthium, Abba, Perchai, Golem. Hooray! Dalroth is sucked into the vortex. <laughs> Dalroth is sucked into the darkness. Wait, I ex Oh! Oh crap! Run away! <laughs> Imagine if I died now. <laughs> uh, yay, we completed the quest. I don't even know what rewards we got from that, so God knows. 99 combat stats, yeah. That was the that was the hardest quest in the game when I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> Tee hee. Right, well that's done.
taking a brief pause from questing to just quickly get 75 woodcutting and then I can get the whole group the magic logs that we need to be able to kind of carry on with quests and stuff obviously I'm not at that point yet but other members of the group are so as in be down sniff your nan is quite keen to crack on with desert treasure so he's very very keen to get magic logs I haven't really decided what, which quest to do next. Obviously, I've got my li little list of things, like quests that I'm going to be doing, my novice quests. Maybe I'll just work through them in quest order. Oh, there's the 75. Lovely jubbly. Yay, we can now cut magic trees. Let's go. What a big moment. What a big moment for the group. I think if I chop... I can't remember how many magic logs it is, but to get the outfit, rather than having to do the temple trekking thing to get the lum uh, lumberjack outfit. I can get it from forestry and I have more than enough anima to do that if I wanted to. I'm only gated by the logs that I can chop to get the pieces. So by chopping, I think it's a hundred magic logs. Might be more than that, might be less. I can't remember, but you know, chopping a decent amount of those, I can actually get most of the lumberjack outfit. But there is a piece that I can't get because it's gated by redwood logs. Oh, this is heckin' slow though. Oh my God. It's been f like four minutes. This recording has been four minutes so far, and we've got one lock. <laughs> I cry, I cry. I think we might have to go back to use for a little bit. This is just not gonna happen, is it? <laughs> now that we have started on a couple of the quests, let's carry on. So we're gonna do witch's potion next. We need an onion. We need eye of newt. And we need burnt meat. I'm not gonna show all of the, like, so obviously in the earlier part of the video, I was kind of, like, I was kind of doing everything in the quest because it was on stream. This part, I'm probably just gonna like, basically show you either the funny parts or me completing them just so you can kind of see them all being chick ch chicked off, checked off. Okay, so we just kind of need to kill a rat for this one and then we're done. Why do we have to kill a rat for a potion? Drink from the cauldron? Why am I drinking from it? Oh, for magic XP, I guess. Oh yeah. Magic level 16 now. Next is imp Next on the list on the optimal Iron Man order is actually Imp Catcher. Oh, Klein of Corinth. I was just in Corinth. Okay, we won't be doing that one. Uh, and then Hazeel's Cult. I think I could probably do that one pretty easily. It is kind of miles away though, I think. Where is it? Oh God, it's just in this massive other quest around here. Okay, well let's mini game telly and then we'll do Hazeel's Cult. So I asked my group who they sided with. Um, Ross was like, I don't know. Scott was like the shortest one. And then he said something, Ross said something like, it takes like three minutes, three mins, LM, A, L I, for some reason my brain, I don't know why, but my brain defaulted to three minutes to lawn mow. I, I, I don't know why. That is why my brain went, but I was like, it takes three minutes to lawn mow what? I, I don't remember a lawn mowing quest. <laughs> I don't really know who to side with. Should I side with Hazeel? The quest is called Hazeel's Cult. Where is Hazeel? Oh, this is the person I started the quest with, isn't it? Who is Hazeel? Is I don't know if we've seen this person yet. Oh, we're turning valves. I vaguely remember this quest from a long time ago. Just turning valves in a direction. But again, it's so weird. I just like, even on my iron, I haven't done all of this mainly because on both my group, other group iron and on my other iron, like I said before in videos and people agreed and commented like about it because Winter Todd sucks, but I get to Winter Todd and it's like, get 99 fire making. And I'm just like, I just can't do it. Can't bring myself to do it. This account, I haven't forced myself to do it. And I'm actually going beyond what is just spending my entire life at Winter Todd. What an absolute crazy turn of events. I do have like a side goal. I know I talked at the start of the video about doing medium diaries, which is a big thing that I would like to get done after I finish doing the easy diaries and the novice quests, obviously. But I'm I'm also kind of thinking like, I would really like to get to Fossil Island. Getting to Fossil Island would be pretty nice. This is a bit creepy, isn't it? Maybe I shouldn't have sided with Hazeel. I'm not sure about it anymore. <laughs> Right, I think that's basically the end of the quest. <laughs> nice, quick, easy one. I think that took like five minutes, probably. Oh, damn, Hazeel, you've seen better days, my friend. I regret my decision. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Hazeel's cult is a, a quest that leads on to a different one. No, I think you have to have done Hazeel's, Hazeel's cult to do a different quest. So that's kind of handy. I'm pretty sure. Can't remember what the quest is. Don't ask me about it. I don't know, but... Yeah, it's kind of sad that it doesn't have it in Quest Helper by 
place. I mean, I suppose that would be a bit of a pain, but yeah, it doesn't have it written anywhere like, oh, this is the, you could do this, this quest order based on location versus just like quest points or release date or alphabetical. I think maybe Dwarf Cannon is probably a good, oh no, Clock Tower. Clock Tower is probably a good one to do. It's near here, right? Yes, because this is, oh no, that's Tower of Life. But this is a Clock Tower. Very handy. And you, all you need is um, a bucket of water and a pair of ice gloves or smith gloves. There is a bucket spawn next to it. I don't have... Okay, there's only a bucket of water, but you can, apparently it spawns next to it, so that's fine. Don't need to actually collect it. I probably have collected a bucket of water specifically, and it's sat in my bank right now for this quest, but hold on. Hello, monk. <laughs> Good. <laughs> wait, wait. Maybe I have to read what he's saying. The cogs are in each... Place one cog on each pole. Enter the clock. Oh, enter the clock. I have to read. This is disgusting. Enter the clock tower's basement for the red cog. Go through the southeast door and pick up the red cog. The southeast door. So this one? Comedy is making me read things. <laughs> what is this sorcery? Fits, per per fits perfectly. Okay, well, at least there's that. <laughs> okay, so we've got the blue clog. Clog? Cog. Place the blue cog on the first floor. Done. Easy. Beautiful. You are clever, thank you. Got some coins from that as well. Perfect. It's what we like. Okay, it's gonna be another section of the video where I just don't have my camera on because I'm in pajamas again. So we're gonna do a couple more quests. I've just kind of got everything ready to do quest, uh, Tower of Life. I did manage to get all of the beads as well. I killed a lot of imps just because this area does have a lot of imps and I was like semi AFK anyway. So I was just like bopping imps until I got all of the beads. Did a quick trip to the bank and get and got a raw swordfish and chicken um, and a beer. And also I got this flyer from an imp and apparently it's like a rarish drop that you need for a quest at some point. So I've kept it just in case because uh, apparently it's, it's a quest requirement. Time to fix the valve. Took a surprisingly long time to find all of the pieces in the crates. Just you, you rummage for such a long time. Oh. Thank you, quest helper. I'm just clicking things where it's highlighting me for me to click. Let's confront some alchemists and hopefully make some sort of weird chicken swordfish thing. What on Gilenor is this? It is time, my friends. The culmination of our work is complete. Long time indeed. Many hours have we have worked. A great many years of planning and preparation has brought us here, my fellow alchemists. Now we have the Tower of Life. We can already create gold. We can already transform matter from one thing to another. And now we have the ability to create life itself. We owe much of the power of Guthix, with, for without the life essence he has he left below ground, we would never have been able to bring this tower alive. They're insane. It begins the first day of creation. What in what 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 in the heck heck it what is that? It's alive. What is it? Oh, it can talk. That's so sad. Poor little, poor little thing. I don't know what it is, but poor little thing. Whatever it is, well, it's actually quite big. Poor big thing. Oh shit! I didn't fix the tower very well. I guess. Honestly, everything is like this in this game. It's like every time I go and speak to people, they're just like, oh, hey, you could do this for me. It's like, God damn it, do things for yourself. Get off your lazy asses, people. Uh, you tell me that you're confused, so ask me some questions. How can I make fire appear at my fingertips with the aid of five fire runes? What do you do with unwanted bones? Turn them into bananas or peaches. What's the best way to travel? Depends where you're headed, but teleport cells are a safe bet. I feel like I'm teaching a child all the wrong things. I need a word with you. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Down we go. I'm pretty sure this is where you like kill the sword chick in the basement or something. Oh, this place is huge. What else you do here? This is such a huge place for a quest. It must form part of something else. Please, you rescue. My pleasure. What is this place? They use the uh, essence of Gothic's power. Create tower pump from this ground. Make me with godly power. Dangerous. Oh dear, but you're okay now. You have this place to reside in. Thank you for, uh, for reward you speak me. I make monsters. What? <laughs> oh 
Okay. I didn't really. I can't. I'm not really. I can't really remember what purpose this area serves. But anyway, yay! We can make some new things. Hooray! Inspect symbol of life altars around dungeon. Uh, you see items give. Use item on altar. Activate altar to create. You fight. Oh, there we go. What a strange creature! Oh my god, it's at level forty-six. Oh bloody hell! Oh god! Oh god! Ah! Run away! <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, that's fucking dumb, isn't it? What an idiot! <laughs> I mean, I wasn't to know it was going to be level forty-six. There's no warning. There's no warning on the quest guide. That's like, by the way. You're gonna need some combat gear for this heckin' strong chicken. I'm just glad I didn't die to it. I did get a YouTube comment yesterday because my episode three went out yesterday. Um, let me just read it out to you because it was really funny. Dying on a rooftop top course and losing the pet is probably the biggest oof of 2024 already. <laughs> so true. <laughs> Death Plateau, where's that start? Is that near here? No, that's long, long way away as well. I really should have organized this by quest location, like start location. I think I'm gonna go and do the rest of Dwarf Cannon now. We just need to get the mold and, is it these notes? I think so. Cause that's not too far. It's a bit of a waddle, but wait, where is it? Oh, it's here. Yeah, that's not too far. So let's go and do that. And then we can review which quest to do next. I'm pretty sure I have to go back towards like Barbarian Village, that sort of area to the left of barbarian village afterwards because i think i think you have to return something to the other side to the other side of the alice mountain at which point i might go and do like goblin diplomacy which is another one that we need to do prince ali's rescue pirate treasure like all of those that are kind of in in and around the lumbridge varrock sort of area to be fair i have done some of them over in that area already i suppose i probably should have done these at the same time but again i didn't do the quest list in the uh, order of location which was silly Okay, I lied. You don't have to go to the other side of the, the ice mountain. This is this is the quest done. Got some crafting XP and the ability to use a dwarf multi cannon. Where do I claim the cannon from, though? Crafting XP. Where do you get a cannon from now? Then is it, I wouldn't. I, I guess it must be in the area where we got the dwarf plans and mold from. I suppose. Okay. Oh, fishing contest. Is that near here? Oh, it's not too far. It's in Catherby. Let's go and do fishing contests. I'm just trying to make friends with the dwarf. I'm trying to make friends with the dwarf so that he will let me do his quest. Please be my friend. Thank you. Also, you might kind of be looking at or seeing, I don't know, if you know this quest, you're like, oh, I've watched your last video and you didn't actually collect these items. It's because the quest helper said that you could get most of these like garlic. There's those garlic and red vine worm that I didn't get before. And that's because quest helper said, you can get them during the quest. So I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna do just that. So that's why they were, did not feature on the list and why I am suddenly getting them now. I just, in the back of my mind, whilst I've been running around that I've been really thinking about, like I could really do with A, getting some more combat levels, even if it means that Winter Todd in the future, if I ever go back there will be a pain. B, it would be quite handy to have some higher combat so I can do things like killing that weird chicken fish thing, or I don't know, doing is it fairy tale quest i feel like fairy tale would be pretty useful so i can use fairy rings but i'm i just in the back of my mind i'm like i'm sure that there was combat in that quest i'm sure so yeah examine wormy good thank you thank you jagex i now feel clued clued up i'm here to join the competition let me in so use the garlic on the pipe stash some garlic now I talk to bonzo give him some money wait what Oh, <laughs> I was like, what is happening? I think as he looked a bit like Count and Check, I just thought he was somebody as like another player's Count Check. And I was like, what the heck is going on? Has the game just died on me? <laughs> oh, yes, I won. Who do we give Do we give this to the guy? Yes, we give this, this trophy to the dwarf we were trying to be best friends with. I guess if I show off when that I won, he'll be like, wow, she's really cool. I want to be friends. So this quest makes total sense to me. Fishing contest is done. Access the White Wolf Mountain Tunnel. Some fishing XP and a quest point. Good. You've done us proud. Thank you, lass. Does this mean we are, me and the dwarf are friends now? I hope so. Ooh, I trust you enough to let you in my tunnel. Eagle's Peak, is that near here? Oh, that's far away. 
I guess we go back to e uh, RD. I mean, it makes sense to do as many of the like quests in this area as, as possible. I've just spotted that I, I actually need 27 hunters to be able to do this quest, Eagle's Peak. So I'm not going to be able to do Eagle's Peak, which is peak. <laughs> Not ideal. Okay, let's see where we can do what we can do instead. I even got all the, the stuff that I needed. They're all kind of the other side of the ice mountain now, it seems. I think. Pirate's treasure, that starts in Lumbridge. Ernest the chicken starts in Drainer. Yeah, they're, honestly, they're just literally all in. Apart from the client of Core End, which is obviously in Core End. Oh, biohazard I could do. Biohazard's here. And I don't need anything other than a gas mask and have fi having finished Plague City, which I've done. Plus, you kind of tally, it looks, it looks like you have to tally to like Remington and um, Varrock and stuff a little bit. So I could multi-quest like a real gamer, which would be absolutely insane. Manic. So we, we can multi-quest today. Start biohazard, yes. We've reached the point in the quest where we have to kill a mourner. Once again, my shockingly low combat level is causing some real problems. <laughs> oh, I need to run away. What am I gonna do? I've got four HP. I guess we need even come back. I just don't actually know how to get out of here now that I'm in here. I guess maybe the same way we came in, through the little ladder down here. Take two is underway. Oh no. We're strong now. I've got to do some defense training. <laughs> Let's get him! Please, 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 please don't die. That would be so embarrassing. A defense level, though. This is uh, getting a little bit embarrassing. I've eaten all of my pie and all of my cake, and I still haven't killed this friggin' mourner. Okay, there we go. Took a sweet, sweet time. Okay, we got a distil dis distillator? We've got our distillator. Whatever the heck that is supposed to be, and we're gonna head over to, I don't know, do the next part of the quest. Okay, this is the point when we have to go to Rimmington. Take the plague sample to the chemist in Rimmington. You can take a boat from our doing dock to Rimmington for 30 GP. What a bargain. And then while we're over that way, I guess we do a couple of the other quests, just because honestly, there's kind of no point in toing and froing. And then once I've done a few more quests around that area, then I'll come back here and finish off. I honestly didn't know that that crossing was so cheap. People are getting poisoned. Honestly, I would actually really like to unlock the, like, Prifidinius kind of do the Song of the Elves quest. Well, I say I would like to do them. I don't think I'd, I don't want to actually do the quests. Eh, maybe I do, I don't know. I'm not that excited by the idea of doing the quests, but what I am excited about is being able to unlock that area of the map. That would be kind of cool. Although honestly, there is kind of, especially when like the longer winded quests, actually getting into them is a little bit more rewarding. It's just these like silly little quests where it's like lots of toing and froing that are a bit more of a pain, I think. As I'm going past this area as well, I'm gonna turn in Imp Catcher because I've actually got all of the, the beads for that now. I think Goblin Diplomacy isn't that far away, but it is kind of, a, it's a little bit more out of the way. So go Goblin Diplomacy and is it Recruitment Drive? Oh, Death Plateau, maybe that's the one I was thinking of. Is Death Plateau in this list? Yeah, Death Plateau, then Goblin Diplomacy is here. So I'll do those two together. I'm actually going to start writing this down. <laughs> Although it is just going to get confusing. Maybe I'll just, I'll just, I, at least I know I'm going to do those two together. I'm going to do Imp Catcher now. I think I'll also do Ernest the Chicken now. Pirate Treasure, Prince, Ali, Rescue. I might also start Fairy Tale Quest just in case there's stuff I need to do for that. And maybe start Recipe for Disaster. Because I think RFD Start is on here. So, and Fairy Tale. So I'm just going to start those two. Oh, that's up there as well. So that would be so Doric's Quest. Cool. Right, that's the order we're going to do them in. So let me just go through this again. Now I've got it right in my brain. Imp Catcher, Ernest the Chicken, Pirate Treasure, Heard Sally Rescue, a Porch, Porch, I don't know, of interest, RFD and Fairy Tale start, Doric's Quest, Goblin Diplomacy, Death Plateau, and then I guess we go back and finish Biohazard. I don't think that's going to be the optimal way to get through the whole list, but it, it seems like that would make the most sense right now to ch check off a few of the different quests. So, okay, so actually having made that list just now, it turns out I am actually going to have to go to Varrock, so we're going to have to slide a couple more quests into that list. <laughs> oh well, whatever. We'll, I'll do the I'll do the Varrock ones later, I won't worry about it, but I'll at least go and do the Varrock bits for, that, for Biohazard for now. But let's turn in Imp Catcher and do a couple of the others that are kind of on the way-ish. We're kind of doing like a big loop, really. Yay! What happens with the four beads, I wonder? I actually have, don't remember. It's been such a long time since I've done this quest. 
mystical and magical. An amulet of accuracy. Thank you very much. And some magic XP. So we've now got 18 magic. Beautiful. Okay, that's him catcher done. What did I say was next on my list? Ernest the chicken. I need to be able to survive a level 22 skeleton attacking me though. So I think I'll pick up some scranage on the way through. It's time to start Ernest the chicken. I think I maybe overstocked on the food front. <laughs> quite a bit of fish but you know it's a level 22 and so far my luck hasn't been that great with questing people and uh, not dying so i don't really know what's, what happens in this quest it looks pretty quick though to be fair there's just like a few steps of running around this house basically i think this might have been the skeleton that i was afraid of <laughs> good i really didn't need to bring this much food <laughs> Honestly, going on to like longer and more difficult quests is going to feel kind of sad having done all of these like really super quick quests. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm looking for a guy called Ernest. <gasps> Hang on a second. Ernest is a chicken. Oh, wait. He changed Ernest into a chicken. Turn it back. It was dreadfully irritating being a chicken. How can I ever thank you? Give me money. <laughs> 300 coins for all that effort. Wow. Full quest points is kind of nuts though. Cool, that's Ernest the Chicken boxed off. Next on our list is Pirate Treasure. I just about to finish Pirate's Treasure and in the process of, or like whilst doing this quest, I actually completed a couple of easy diary tasks, which is nice because that saves us a bit of time in the long run. It was just like picking bananas, I think was one of them. And I think boarding a ship was one of them. Wait, what are we doing now? Oh, we have to go and get him more treasure for God's sake. I suppose we do have to go to Varrock anyway because we need to go and get something for biohazard quest so i'll just do the two at the same time because this is in varrock we're in varrock ready to do the next step of pirate treasure and also our biohazard oh what's this read this visit the city of the white knights in the park saradomen points to the x which marks the spot oh for god's sake now i've got to run to falador as well this is such a dumb quest is it even good rewards no <laughs> it's not it's a gold ring which i've got about 12 of an emerald and 450 coins i guess this is the only downside of doing all of the novice quests which if i ever want quest cape on this account i do kind of have to do but oh god what a waste of my life <sighs> well let's do this bit of the of the plague city quest which oh sorry bio has a quest which is going here i've already got it i didn't actually take anything out of my invent that i needed i just swatched switch swatched switched my outfit back to mostly graceful apart from that top just so that my run would restore faster, basically. Is it Chansey I need to speak to? Da Vinci? Both of them? Speak to Hops, Da Vinci, and Chansey in the pub. Okay, and then speak to Hops. Cool. That's that done. What's next? Talk to As Asif to get a free priest gown. You can only get the free set once. It's literally marked for me. <laughs> Look at me, I'm priestly. Lovely. Talk to Gildor in his house. Wait, I didn't read what, he, what it said. No! No! <laughs> oh no! What have I done? Oh no! Okay, let's talk to these guys again. <laughs> Oopsies, that was really silly. Oh no! If you get lost, if you lost any of the chemicals, return to Elena to get more. Oh, that's actually ruined my day. Okay, All right. I probably should read chat more often. <laughs> this, is, this is on me, this is on me. Okay, well, we can't do that part of the biohazard quest. What was next on my quest list? Prince Ali Rescue. That's kind of back this way a little bit because we need to go to Alcarid. Can't believe I did that. Oh, I need a pot of flour. Apparently I don't have one. I literally had one yesterday. I picked one up from an imp as well. We're starting Prince Ali Rescue. I need, do need to obviously collect that pot of flour, but everything else I should have in my bank, including, but yeah, pretty much any, everything, to be fair. So I'm just going to pick up what I need from my bank, and then we're going to head over and do that quest. Oh, and speak to this person. Oh, wait, what is this? <gasps> this is very, very useful. I did not know that existed. What else is this? All right, yellow dye, red berries, ashes... Bucket of water. Pot of flour I don't have. I'm not really sure how I ended up skipping that. I planned fairly well, minus the flour. Right, let's finish Prince Ali Rescue. 
My camera is off because it's a fresh day. I can't remember why I didn't finish the quest. There was a reason. I think I went out somewhere or I ran out of health. I can't remember, but anyway, there was a reason. But yeah, let's finish Prince Ali Rescue for today. I am the bringer of beers. Many beersies for the boys. We're using a rope on her. Oh gosh. <laughs> every time I, I mean, I say every time I do this quest, this is like the second time I've done this quest recently, but yeah, the, after like the, the, I always forget it's so friggin' weird that you just like tie a woman up and put her in the cupboard. Like, what are these old jackets quests? All right, off we go. Let's waddle back to Alcreed and finish the quest. Thank you for the payment for your son. Thank you so much. Hooray! Okay, next, what quest should we do? The, the optimal Iron Man novice quest list is gradually getting shorter. We are getting there. We do need to do biohazard. And obviously I did have that little list. Where's my little piece of paper gone? I did have a little list, didn't I, of things that I was going to do. So we've done Prince Ali Rescue. A porcine of interest was the next one on my list. We need a rope and a slash weapon. We need to defeat a level 37. So we're going to need a little, little bit of foods, foodstuffs. We do get some Slayer experience though, which is nice. I didn't even know there was a quest that gave you Slayer experience. But anyway, I should probably do Vampire Slayer actually as well. I know it's not on the, the novice quest list, but I think I probably should do it just because I think it might be actually quite beneficial for us. Do I need a banana? I don't know. We'll keep it as food. All right, I've started a Pochine of Interest, as you can probably see in the chat box here. And then I'm just going to start Vampire Slayer as well, which I believe starts in this house. And I think there's a garlic upstairs. I obviously did this quest. If you watch my <laughs> League series, you will see my pain and sadness with this quest. And uh, yeah, I kind of remember what happened with this quest only because it took me so long. And I basically did it twice because I thought I'd done it wrong. And yeah, anyway, it's a whole big mess. I highly recommend watching the video if you if you want to know what happened there. Somebody needs to make us a steak. We need to go to Varrock, I think. Varrock for a steak. Sadly, not the meat kind. We need a beer or two coins to buy one. We have coins, that's fine. Yeah, we go to the, to the Varrock and buy a steak. So we'll do that whilst we're, or we get a steak off a, a, a guy in the pub. So we'll do that once we once we actually reach that point. For now, I'm gonna go to do Pirate's Treasure. Pochina of Interest is pointing us this way as well. So she's wished me good luck with my reward. That's nice. That's very sweet. Next, we use the rope on the strange hole, Issa Draenor Manor. Let's climb down the strange hole. We go to the end of the cave and investigate the skeleton. Then we find something. Then we cut off its foot. Oh dear. And then we return to Sarah, who we were just trying to. Easy peasy. I'll see you back there, unless the fight turns out to be an absolute shambles. In which case, I will see you there. <laughs> This is what I get for exploring uncharted caves. Looks like I'm trapped down here. My entry rope slipped off and now there's nowhere to go but deeper. I think I'd be safer just waiting and praying for rescue. If anyone finds this, get out while you can. Dun dun dun. It is not exactly reassuring. Sniff your cat, that is for sure. What the heck is this pig thing? That's an accurate, accurate name. Uh, nice piggy. Nice piggy. Oh no! Sniff, sniff! She, he's, he's sniffing me! Sniff your cat is being sniff sniffed by the pig thing! Lol. Sniff, sniff, snort. That cutscene was unnecessarily long. Sniff your cat! What's oh, still going on? Go on, Spreer! Well then, what do we have here? We have a little cat-like adventurer named Sniff Your Cat. I'm alive. I want to know what happened. Oh no, I don't know what I need to defend myself. Reinforce goggles? Oh, nice! Look at the fashion. All right, let's go again. Let's go again. This time we win. The goggles will protect us. Plus the, you know, sick fashion scape. I think. I bet you it's got, oh, it's got 40 HP, to be fair. It's not nothing. It's not nothing. This is not a good start. I, I, maybe I try a different attack. Like I don't know. Oh, there we go. We've we've hit one. Thirty nine to go. <sighs> For God's sakes! <laughs> it's gonna heal before I've had a chance. Yeah, it just he it just healed. <laughs> Good. What does I mean? To be fair, I did say I should be like twenty combat to do this quest. I'm seventeen. It's not. It's not massively different. I mean, it's like there is like two in a bit. Maybe we have to go and train up on some more goblins. <laughs> we're down to our last fish. I think... I think we're going to have to go again. But we're going to have to go with more food. Because we've got him down to... 16. 
So less than half is not happening with this much food, so I'm going to have to get some more. Yeah, let's train a little bit of uh, defense up and try and get at least 10, def uh, 10 defense. Then we'll go back with another invent full of food and we'll be ready to do the fight. It should also make vampire slayer a little bit easier as well, which honestly is, is going to be very useful. I'm closing in on 20 combat and I'm being told like <clears throat> by my group not to bother with this tap this quest because apparently I don't, know, I don't really understand it's something to do with Slayer and Toriel. So I don't know, I guess I'll leave it. But I was kind of just hoping to get the whole of the nov novice quest list done. I was like, like kind of keen to get everything ticked off. If it is going to make life sad, long long term, again, okay, there's the 20, uh, then maybe I leave it. But I mean, I honestly haven't really thought about Slayer. And also, t um, like, early level Slayer is pain. It is sad. Nobody enjoys it. It sucks. But it also doesn't last that long. I'll leave it for now. And I guess I'll just come back to it if and when I decide to. Let me know in the comments when this video comes out whether you're like, honestly, it's not that bad. Or like whether you agree that it's pain or not, basically. So I know if I made the right choice, <laughs> that would be great. Right, who do we speak to? Do we speak to Martin the Gardener about, ask about the quest. Let's do this, grow and paint, fairy tale one. Cool, started, done. We also need to start RFD, but we'll sort that out later. I think I'll head up to Falador and I'll finish Pirate's Treasure, because Pirate's Treasure, because it's literally like, it's just sat there as an incomplete quest that I still need to get done. And then there was another one that I needed to do in Falador, or it's above Falador, isn't it? So we've got like Death Plateau, Goblin Diplomacy, Dorix Quest, and then we're going to have to head back to Ardoin to recollect the items for Biohazard because I was a big silly lady and did not read dialogue and somebody confiscated all of my potions. Anyway, so we've got to do that at some point. Right, Pirate Treasure, what do we need for this? We need to give him... Dig in the middle of the guard... Okay, so... Spade... Dig, dig, dig. Oh no! Oh, ow. What are you doing here? Don't attack me, you silly gardener. Once killed to dig again. Kind of like a clue scroll, really. It's almost like, it almost feels a bit like um, this pirate treasure thing. It's like an introduction to clue scrolling. It's a good job I did all of that combat training. <laughs> right, there we go. I found a hole in the ground. Hooray! What do I do with this treasure? Open casket. Done! Okay. Recruitment drive. What do we need whilst we're here? We need to finish Black Knight's Fortress. It seems silly to get me to do a novice quest when you have to do like a non-novice quest to complete. Oh, that's that's very frustrating. Well then, that puts us at a bit of a bit of a stopper because I need to finish Black uh, finish Black Knight's Fortress to be able to do this quest. So we'll pause there. Let's go and do Doris quest instead. Hello, traveler. What brings you to my humble smithy? I want to use your anvils, please. Space bar simulator for a little while and then hopefully this quest will be done. Nice and quick. Oh, that was extremely quick. Cheers, mate. Wow. Basic. Nice. Done. <laughs> cool. Well, there's another quest done. I think next we'll go and do Death Plateau. I just need to check if I need to pick anything up on the way. I've made a start on Death Plateau. I can't remember if I need like boots or something for this quest. I have a feeling I do and I don't have any quests, uh, any invent spaces. So I just have to hope for the best, I guess. I can always drop my knife or tinder box. I've only really picked, I picked up the tinder box only because I needed uh, some more, some cooked meat for a different quest that I'm going to kind of go and do next and I was like oh I should probably just make sure I've got enough to well get some got some stuff to build a fire essentially uh so I picked up those bits so I can always drop the tinderbox on the way if I need to hello give me some shoesies I'm hoping that this guy will give us some very fashionable shoesies I don't really know what else he's saying but I'm getting something for him I think we're almost there with the, this quest I think we just need to finish our booties and then that's kind of it really get some climbing boots and then we have to oh that's the wrong button um, and then we have to just do the climb, basically. So pretty easy. Right, here's the end of the quest. Thank you very much. Some steel claws, ability to make claws. Lovely. And some attack XP, which is very handy. My attack is now 20. I think before it was 12 or 11. Nice. That's very handy. Okay, next on our list. I think I said I was going to do Below Ice Mountain next. Although we could kind of just need to head to Varrock and just finish off a bunch of bit, bits and pieces there before we start heading over 
to kind of this side of the map again until we reach Ardoin and re get the stuff for Biohazard. Because there's like Elemental Workshop 1 over that way. I don't know where Jungle Potion is, but I assume it is in Karamja. So that one I can't really do just yet, but I could get a boat over there pretty easily. Rag and Bone Man is like way past Varrock and a massive pain and so long. So uh, I think we'll come back to that one. The one I was going to pick up next was Below Ice Mountain anyway. So, but I do need some cooked meat to make that happen because it's like on the way back to Varrock. Then we go back to Varrock. What about to Varrock? I'm going to do all the crap there. <laughs> Having just done a full like hero sequence, hero training sequence, sequence, I actually kind of regret not including this in the video, but I'm already... I'm concerned that my video is already going to be super long because each recording has been m at least 30 minutes at the at the, at the, the lowest uh, for episode four. So yeah, I would have loved to include it all, but honestly, you're just going to get so bored. But honestly, so funny. Ridiculous hero training sequence. sequence. And then this guy being like, oh yeah, like you've got muscles now. I, we can we can be friends. It's like right, great, because that's that's what makes the mark of a good friend. That's not what he said. It was more about helping with the with the quest that we were doing. But anyway, yeah, just maybe lol. Okay, we multi questing. So we're going to the same pub where the vampire slayer guy is, where you get the steak. But we've got that for vampire slayer, and then we also have shield of Arav is another one that we need to do whilst we're over in Varrock. Okay, we're going to start by talking to Doctor Harlow and asking him for a steak because we need a steak. He sobers up slightly after having a bit, nice. And then for Below Ice Mountain, we need to speak to this guy. It's actually kind of a longer quest than I thought it was for Below Ice Mountain. Like doing all this recruitment and stuff actually takes a little bit of time. It's not like hugely long, but long enough. Right, we need to give Marley a steak sandwich. I'm just gonna put this at the bottom of my invent now because we're actually gonna do Shield of Arav next. Right, there's a quest point, 600 coins, lovely. <clears throat> also just had to tell Scott off because he tries to close the door on me. But we did manage to do this this quest as a, as a duo, which is kind of cool. It meant I didn't have to worry too much about like joining any clans or anything, which is kind of handy. Next, I'm going to go and start Rag and Bone Man. I have enough logs and pots. I've got a... Do I have a light source? I think I picked up a candle in the hope that the candle would be a light source. <laughs> we'll see. But this one does seem kind of long there's quite a lot to the quest and pot so it that's the eight pots that we need for rag and bone man and then the last bit is getting a rope i'm kind of like maybe i go and do vampire slayer at the same time though because i'm going to be over here anyway and it is relatively low leveled and i'm like a really strong com 20 combat gal now all right we've picked up the, the, the rope that we needed I think we're just going to plunk all of this in the bank though, and I'm just going to go and finish Vampire Slayer. It wasn't actually on my task list or quest list for things that I wanted to get done today, but I kind of figured like might as well since I'm in the area. Let's take like some raw salmon, why not? Well, we'll cook it, but yeah, take some salmon with us as well. All right, let's hope we have less of a painful time this time. It's actually been quite a long time, and I am actually kind of paranoid because he is restoring his health. <laughs> so yeah, I'm kind of worried it's going to time out again. <laughs> Yikes. Come on, Alilia, get some. Oh no, Alilia, sniff your cat. Get some, get some chunky hits in there. Okay, I think we're doing it. We're gonna do it. It's fine. He's got one HP. Get him! Yeah. Wait, what? You're unable to push the stake it far enough in. If you could see the anger and frustration and confusion, frankly, on my face right now. I actually just don't know how to feel. This is worse. I've tried to finish this guy off twice and he's restored his health because apparently I'm not strong enough or something. I don't know, you're unable to push the stake in far enough. Is there something I'm doing wrong? I might actually have to go and come back. <laughs> Why? <laughs> there must be something I'm doing wrong. Now that you have the items required, you must now fight the vampire. You must have a weapon, armor, food, garlic, and a ha oh, a hammer. We didn't bring a hammer. Wow, what a waste of supplies. <laughs> that was very silly. I bet any of you watching that, that have seen like or that have done this this game many times and know this quest very well will just be like, "What an idiot! Why didn't she bring a hammer?" Whoops, Daisy's right. Let's go grab a hammer. <laughs> And try that again. I might have to cook some more fish though, because it did take quite a lot of fish to get him down to one of health. 
even in the first instance, let alone the uh, the other attempts. <laughs> Let's give this another go, shall we? Now that we've got the hammer to jam in there. The jammy hammer. It's done. That was so much easier. I literally like was brain AFK. I wasn't even looking at the screen. Whoops. <laughs> but it's done. Hooray. We've got some attack XP and three quest points. Oh, my attack is attack level is like quite unbalanced compared to everything else now. Whoops. I'm doing Rag and Bone Man 1. I've got a few of the bones, but look at this chaos. What is this mess? <laughs> oh god, I hate it. It looks horrible. There we go. Good. Okay. Phew. We've now got all of the bones for Rag and Bone Man 1, so I'm going to just go and do Jungle Potion, because Jungle Potion is on Karamja. It's a little bit of a run, a bit of a waddle. I'm just gonna... Can I click over there? No. I can't be lazy. We don't need any items, however, it does recommend you bring anti-poison. So, is there any banks on here? There isn't up here, is there? No. Um, I do have a few cakes, so if I do get poisoned and need food, I have got a few cakes with me, so that's fine. I, it just looks like we kind of waddle around and collect stuff, to be honest. We need to be able to survive against a 73 Jogra and a level 46 Harpy Bug Swarms. Neither of which fill me with confidence, but we can at least start the quest and, I don't know, just see how long it takes. I don't think it's a long quest, but it is herb lore experience, which is very handy, especially within this kind of early level herb lore state that I am. Level 4 is like a very sad little herb lore state. <laughs> um, oh god, we're actually kind of low health. Oh dear, a tribesman attacked me and I'm dead. <laughs> to poison. Oh no. Oh rip, that's a bit sad. I hope I don't lose the bones. <laughs> Let's try this again. Why is it taking me so long? I mean, it's pointing to this bush. I'm searching a different couple of different ones, but why is it taking so long to actually get the, whatever it is I'm supposed to be getting from these? Search marshy jungle vine for some snake weed. I've been searching them for like 30 plus seconds and nothing. <gasps> Yay, we got one. Finally. Search the palm tree, northeast of the village. Oh, this is where we have to survive the bug storms. Shit. I hope they don't poison me. Oh, that was so quick. Wow. I'm return it to what's his face. I was just trying to beat down. I've just started editing episode four because obviously I'm I'm currently recording the last bit of episode four, but I'm trying to edit it down. And the actual, I mean, I I said this earlier in one of my recordings that each of the recordings so far is like like minimum half an hour. I've put it all together and started editing. It's five and a half hours. So I have I might have to just split it into like multiple clips. But anyway, yeah, beat down's like what the fuck like nobody's gonna sit and watch six hours of you doing a novice quest so he's totally right here's an here's an herb next we go and get something from rocks let's run into here i have a feeling that there's something gonna something's gonna attack me oh god yes that's right wow they are strong i hope they don't attack me ah he didn't attack me oh i i need to be able to search the wall like i could do without being attacked i need a corner where attacks are not going to happen phew okay right let's hope that this this corner is the right one yay okay right they look so smiley for one so aggressive look at it look at this little smile it's so happy about hurting me what a prick it looks so pleased with itself here is jungle potion done thank you herb lore xp is pog and i think we've done everything we wanted to do here now i need to go to drainer village and get Fortunado to help me with some of these um, jugs. Gets me, gets me, get me some jugs of vinegar. I guess we do carry on with Blow Ice Mountain, I think, is the next step, really. I think we're supposed to buy some vinegar of, from him. Eight jugs of vinegar. Do I have to, do I get them for free? Oh, they're, they're, oh, okay. Let's get some coin. What did he say? Let's, can I help you at all? Ah, good afternoon, your ladyship. I take it you have come for a refill. Yes. Yes, I have. Right, and then do we use them on these? I guess we do. I think we have to add these one at a time. So this is actually gonna be a little bit slow, I think. It does say it's a hot world to make it happen immediately, but I am editing a video at the same time, so I'm probably just gonna do this piecemeal until they're all done. But I won't make you guys watch that. <laughs> Some cooking and some prayer XP, very nice, and a quest point. It'll be Rag and Bone Man 2, which will be the next time we're here, but for now. Oh, 19 prayer, lovely. So next, I think, well, we need to go below Ice Mountain. We need to do Elemental Workshop. Murder Mystery is also the other side of Ice Mountain. So let's do below Ice Mountain first, 
We need combat gear and food. And then I also need... I think I've done most of it. I just need to hand in this this sandwich, which is kind of... Oh, I see. I see where, where, where we're up to. Okay. So I'm, I need to give Marley this steak sandwich, which I've managed to hold on to this whole time. And then we need to recruit somebody, which we just need coins for, or an Asgardian ale. And it's in Falador. And then we can head over to the other side of Ice Mountain and crack on with some cool quests over that side of the mountain. And also fix the biohazard mess. I'm going to take some fish oh god that's too much let's take like 10 fish just in case we get damaged on the way over ice mountain we also need some coins i think i'll just take like 5k nothing too crazy nothing too crazy and then obviously i need to cook the fish as well okay so it says for the evacuation combat gear or a pickaxe if you don't want to fight so the next part of the quest i'm going to need a pickaxe for probably I mean, it's worth taking the pickaxe i mean it's only a level 25 ancient guardian Wait, alternatively, will the level 10 mining? I do have over level 10 mining, so I could just very quickly mine it, I suppose. Pickaxe. My bronze pickaxe is gonna be doing bits. <laughs> Here is your steak sandwich. To be fair, I would I would murder a steak sandwich right now. Willow, I've given you your recruits. Let's do this. Head into the ruin, yes. Let's go. Thank you, Sniff your cat for all your help. You, that's no trouble at all. I just hope that my bronze pickaxe actually does enough damage <laughs> to do whatever it is that we need to do here. Oh, kaboom! Nice. Wait, isn't there like, is there like a mini game or something under here that helps with like mining XP or something? I think actually below Ice Man Mountain isn't the part of the mountain. I, I thought you go past the wolves and stuff, but this actually isn't that at all, is it? Whoops, oh well. Oh yeah, this is the place I was thinking of. It's like a weird mini game and you can unlock like... I can't remember what you unlock. There's nothing here but this dust and fallen rocks. Thrilled? What's there to be excited about? I don't see any gold, diamonds, rare gems or piles of lost treasure. It's not about the money though, right? We've potentially discovered the long lost ruins of, the inch of an ancient civilization. Of course it's about the money. It's always been about the money, you fool. Wow. We're grave robbers looking for the next score. Oh no, we've helped a band of a band of villains. What do you get in here? Okay, it was the Im Imkando hammer and it helps with something. <laughs> when fighting Tempros, it will not be destroyed by flames or washed away by the waves. That was the benefit. And then when doing mahogany homes, it, save an inv it saves an inventory, inventory slot if wielded. Okay, so that makes sense. That makes sense. That's what I was thinking of that is the benefit of doing this mini game or whatever it is. They're all just gonna abandon me. Cool. 10 mining, we can mine the pillars in the corners of the room. How do I know if I've, oh. If I get the XP, maybe it means I've mined it. Is that it? There we go, done. Easy peasy. Oh yeah, so it's it's for Tempros that is the benefit of doing that, of getting that hammer. I'd kind of forgotten about it, to be honest. Looks like Willow left a bag behind. Maybe there's something in it I can take. I find some coins. That'll do nicely indeed. <laughs> Bless my beard. Has that person just been stuck in there this whole time? Watch the cutscene to finish the quest. Cool. Done. Next, we're going to go across Ice Mountain, I think. And we're going to do murder mystery, a an elemental workshop, and then finish biohazard. But I'm thinking like maybe actually... I should try doing recruitment drive first, but I need to have finished Black Knight's Fortress first. So I think maybe if I do Black Knight's Fortress, which is kind of near here anyway. Let's do this then before we move on, because at least then we've kind of done the quest, the novice quest in Falador that we needed to do, that I can't do because it's gated by doing Black Knight's Fortress. All right, that's Black Knight's Fortress done, which means we can now do recruitment drive. So we can go back to our novice quest list. Hooray! Recruitment drive. We need to just chat to this guy again, basically. And then I think we just chat to a lot of people. Lots of sirs by the looks of it. Should be pretty quick and easy, I think, she says. And then I need to speak to Sir Tiffy Cashian in Falador Park. So somebody over here. I think it's the guy sat on the bench, actually. I was doing recruitment drive the quest and unfortunately I did die during the quest because there's like a, a person you have to defeat and my levels just weren't high enough. So I've trained my attack, uh, sorry, my strength and my defense a little bit just so that <laughs> hopefully I can actually defeat this guy. But we'll see. I'm going to try again and hope for the best. Hooray! 
They got us some prayer XP, Hebler XP, agility, some coins, Falador respawn point, an initiate salad. Oh, it's the hat. Okay, the helmet even. Oh my god, 14 herb lore. Tasty. Okay, next on the quest list, we need to go through the Ice Mountain, really. Ice Mountain Pass to get to the other side to do Murder Mystery Elemental Workshop 1. Eagle's Peak also needs doing, but I need 27 Hunter, which I'm quite a way off. And Clive Corrent obviously needs doing it some as well. Cool. All right, uh, let's just take some stuff so that I don't die. <laughs> we made it in one piece. Let's do Murder Mystery first. What items do we need? We just need one pot. There's murder mystery done. Absolutely smashing through the quest. I'm not even bothering showing all of them all because like I said slightly earlier, my recording was five and a half hours. I managed to trim it down to two hours 45 in between doing quests, but that's still long. That's still a long video. So I've got a lot more chopping to do. So I'm just kind of like, I mean, if you guys really wanted to see these quests, they will exist somewhere on the internet, I'm sure. On to Elemental Workshop 1. And then we go to finally finish biohazard oh wait i can't do elemental workshop one because i don't have 20 smithing or crafting and i'm quite a way off when it comes to the smithing sheet crafting isn't too far off i could get the crafting pretty easily i don't want to hang on to do it to this video in the hopes of getting like a few levels and like a finishing a couple of quests because i'm not going to be bothering finishing a porcine of interest and eagle's peak i probably won't do unless i go and do the the hunter level 27 hunter isn't too bad but We've done 37 quests now and have 66 quest points. So we're doing pretty well on the quest front. Elena, I'm sorry I messed up. Please forgive me and give me more of what I need. <laughs> I'm afraid I've lost some of the stuff you gave me. Phew, okay, right. Back to Lumbridge and then over to Varrock we go and then we can hopefully finish Biohazard. Although the pain is obviously going to be, yeah, going to be that I have to kind of run all the way here again. But there is a boat, I think. I'm actually so mad. I forgot, so I went to Elena, got the stuff, but kind of forgot that I guess I need to go to Rimmington afterwards to give it to people. And I went straight to the guy, people in the pub just because like Quest Helper said that was the next step kind of thing. But I forgot to do the bit before and got searched on the gate and he, they, the person took all of the stuff from me. So now I'm going to have to go back to Ardoin again <laughs> to get more of the stuff from Elena and then do it all again. Oh, so annoying. Third time's a charm. I think I need to speak to somebody in this area. Or something. I don't know, I just don't want to mess it up again. Okay, right, done. I did get the priest garments already. So I, I guess I don't really do it again. Next, talk to G Gida. Gidor? Gildor? In his house? This person. Okay, this is where I went wrong and I left the area way ahead of time. Talk to Gida Gidor in his house in the south. I'm afraid that Gary is long, no, no longer long to this word, but I do have very important business to attend to. A priest? Okay. Oh! Oh, I see! Okay, so you claim the free priest gowns and you have to look to look like a priest. That makes sense. That makes so much sense. Okay. So if I wear this, then I should now be able to speak to him because he's a religious man and needs to see a priest. I got it. I got it. I have come to ask your assistance in stopping a plague. We've revealed the truth. Return to Elena, inform her that the plague is a hoax. <gasps> Drama. Thank goodness we've finally managed to complete that part of the quest. I'm actually an idiot sometimes. <laughs> it's turned in biohazard at long last. <laughs> we need to tell King Lathas that the plague is a hoax as well. And then that is biohazard done. Finally. And we don't have... That's most of the novice quests done. There's a couple that aren't. I can't do Elemental Workshop 1 and I can't do Eagle's Peak, which were two of the ones that were on the list that I, I can't do just because I don't have this, the, the level requirements. And I, I just don't really want to wait for, to put this video out until I've done those two levels. I'd rather go and do some fun stuff or, yeah, get ready to do diaries instead. And then I'll just do those as part of, you know, incidentally as part of something else. Hooray! Biohazard is done! Theming XP, work full West Ardoin access, combat training camp access. Underground pass quest, yes! It says I should need a level of 60 though, so we shall not be doing that anytime soon. <laughs> oh yeah, a Porcine of Interest was one of the ones I also didn't get to do. Oh, I didn't finish just because apparently it's annoying for Slayer. I don't know. And then the last one is Client of Corrin, so I'm just going to grab a feather from the bank. We'll head towards Corrin. 
and do this quest. It's really quick. You just speak to Veos at Port Piscrilius. Go to Veos, then we use a feather on, on an enchanted scroll. We talk to a few people and then we activate a dark orb and that is literally it. So that's gonna be super quick, thank goodness. And then that is the last one I think we're gonna be doing as part of this video, which is kind of crazy. I don't know how many quests I actually did today, or not, not today, I'm saying it, I did it all in one day. I did not, this this has taken like two or three weeks, I think, probably, at this point. I haven't been playing, obviously, all day, every day, because, you know, I work, so I've just been squeezing an hour or two in here or there to get a few quests done. I think deciding I was going to do a quest, uh, like, oh, I'm going to do these, this bunch of quests, and the list was, you know, obviously pretty long, was a little bit more... I bit off a bit more than I could chew really with that so I think rather than going straight into doing all of the medium diaries as a full video as like one video I think I'll just do what I can in that one video and and just keep working towards it until I've kind of reached a point where the video makes sense to end rather than me being like yeah so I'm gonna do all of these quests and all of these diaries in one video because it's actually been quite intense <laughs> and it's actually taking me a long time to edit as well so I think maybe I did bite off more than I could chew with that one. Have you got any quests for me? As a matter of fact I do. I've done the long waddle all the way around the core end to finish client core ends. that's that quest done pretty much. Oh wait no we've got to go to the dark altar next but we've we've at least done the enchanted scroll stuff. I did also steal from a fruit stall for a few mins just to get a little bit more thieving XP. And I think once I finish, once I've finished this quest, once I've turned it in, I will most likely just spend a bit of time thieving from the fruit stall until I get to 38 thieving so that I can do master farmers. I'm just very aware that obviously I've, there's been quite a few, it's been like a, a, what, a month almost, actually just over a month since I start, we started the group iron. And I haven't yet managed to do any farming at all. So if I can get to 38 and pickpocket master farmers, I'll at least have some seeds to plant, which would be really useful. So I think like between now and the next video, obviously I'll be getting stuff for easy diaries and doing easy diaries as, as part of the, the plan. But I think I'll also spend a bit of time just doing a bit of thieving and farming in between so that you know we can get some her like herb runs are going to be so useful for us because iron life you know so i really do need to start work on that which you know i just haven't done yet so far wait was he dodgy was he being weird i feel like i didn't really pay attention but the these antique lamps are going to be very tasty i think we use one for herb law and one for construction like i said gonna go and do some uh some fruit stall thieving, some fruit stall thievery until, I don't know, I can muster up the strength to do a bunch of levels for diaries because there's going to be quite a lot. I didn't get as many of the levels as I would have liked, I don't think. Like, I definitely have to do at least do some hunter. I also need to do ick, or I need to at least start ick, little helper. We need 13 smithing and to do the knight sword quest. 11 hunter, yeah, like, there's a lot, there's going to be a lot of of stuff that needs to be done in terms of levels for diaries. So I think maybe the next, I think the diary video, I was gonna try and do all of the easy diaries in one video, but looking at this, like that's not gonna happen. It's gonna take a, probably like the, it's probably gonna take like a couple of videos at the very least. It's gonna take, yeah, a bit longer than I was anticipating. Definitely expect a couple of videos. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate it, it's probably quite long. I haven't actually, at the point of recording this outro, I haven't actually, finish editing it and I still have two hours and 15 minutes plus this 30 minute recording that I've just done so I've actually got two hours 45 minutes still to work through so I have no idea how long the actual video is going to end up being but I hope it's still an enjoyable watch regardless I will try and turn my camera on a little bit more for the next video it's just because like I said with this one I was just like squeezing in an, eye, an hour here or there trying to get all of these quests done because there were so much so many of them don't forget to subscribe on youtube and to follow me on twitch at twitch.tv forward slash emma lilico obviously i also post on all other main social platforms so don't forget to also follow on instagram tiktok twitter or x whatever i look forward to seeing you in the next video i don't know when the next actual runescape video will be just because of obviously how long this one has taken me to make and how long i anticipate the next one is going to take me to make but there will still be a video every week so if you like Baldur's gate pokemon scarlet zelda that sort of thing you can expect all of that sort of content coming up because i have 
videos to edit from all three <laughs> so if you like that sort of content there'll be there will be more of those so don't forget to subscribe for that in the meantime thank you so much once again for watching and i'll see you again next week <laughs>